my bag. You mad, gotta watch my bag. New shirt, gotta pop my tags. New whip, I'ma ride so fast. I just wanna be somebody that you care about. So everybody else, get him out, cut him out. Everybody else, get him out, cut him out. I don't wanna be somebody you don't give a fuck about, yeah. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Dobbs. Hey, it's your boy M. And uh, today we're gonna do a uh, like get to know us. So we'll be asking each other the questions, uh, just so you can get like an insight into who we are and and get to understand us a bit better. So yeah, you wanna start? Yeah. So if you could live anywhere, where would you live? Ooh. Um. I think it's between it's, it's between a few places. Definitely somewhere in the Caribbean. Um, could be Antigua, could be Jamaica, could be Barbados. It could be anywhere, really. <laughs> it could be anywhere as long as it's got beaches and sun. I'm here for it. How about you? Um, it's funny because like I've always pictured myself, um, not just living in one place but kind of moving around. It's weird. Like Caribbean, obviously, is great. Like, but where would be like your base? I'm not saying you can't travel and have places anywhere else, but like, where would be like your number one base? My number one base. Yeah. Man, that is a tough one. Like, I know it's the Caribbean. You see, Antigua, Jamaica, really and truly, let's just be honest. It's one of them ones. Um, it could be even Bahamas. You know. <laughs> I don't know. I think as long as it's like a great place. I'm down. I mean, I'm here in Dubai, it's great, but me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. What's your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve? Yeah. I feel like it's not acting on the energy. I feel like that is something that does get me. Like, it's like, if I don't act in the moment with certain things, as in like, when it comes to business or like a plan or a new idea, to doing things, not an impulse, but doing things when you, when you have that feeling. Yeah, I feel like if I don't do it, it's like I'm losing my mind. Yeah, that's a good. Um, my biggest pet peeve. I have a lot. I'm someone that can get irritated really quickly, so there's a, there's a lot of them. Um. I think it would be like if I ask you to do something and you just long it out, it draws me. <laughs> it draws me. Yeah, it draws. <laughs> your turn. Um, what is your biggest fear? Uh, my biggest fear is failure, most definitely. Um, it, that's in everything. Like just, just failure. <laughs> just. Failure. I think I think for me it's like my biggest thing is just like not my biggest fear is not doing enough and then get to a stage where like I'm an old man and I can't do anything and then I'm like if only if I did don't want that so I think I gotta act on whatever yeah I said I need to do okay um Favorite movie? Like all time, hands down. My favorite movie. I feel like my favorite movie. My favorite. Let's go with my actor. My favorite actor is Denzel Washington. I hope I didn't ask you about that. actor. Uh, favorite movie. movie. It would be a movie that he did, probably. It's hard because either it's between Equalizer and the Book of Eli. Two very good movies. I think. I think Equalizer took took it for me because I think Equalizer is like. It's about a guy that. He's very dangerous, CIA, retired. Trying to live his life, do his little thing. Mm. Really truly. He's a good guy, has a good heart, gets pulled into whatever mess, trying to sort it out quickly, 
and it ended up turning into this crazy thing and it's just it's how it was done in the movie it's just the yeah, actor your favorite. yeah what's your movie it's gonna sound so like generic but i think i'd have to say love and basketball Yeah, or like the woods. That's a good one. The woods. How is it? I don't know. It's a little old time classic. Hmm. Okay. Um, what is your favorite game or sport to watch and play? I don't know. That's right. To watch, it has to be basketball. To play, it has to be netball. Yeah. I like swimming too. But netball, definitely. Mine. I know yours. It's football all around. Just football. <laughs> to watch, to play, to read, everything. It's football. Trust me, guys. I wasn't always this big. I used to play football. <laughs> Jericho. Um. How do you deal with stress? It's a good question. Stress. Do not like stress. Um. I think I, sometimes I sleep it off, sometimes I need to meditate on whatever it is even though they say it's not good to dwell on things that are bothering you but like I feel like for me to process it I need to deal with it sometimes in quiet, sometimes in on my ones it is about that bit but yeah I think that is one of, one of, one of two ways that I deal with stress what about you? Similar, just being on my own, listening to music. Um, sometimes reading a book really helps me. I love, I love to read. So yeah, sometimes that helps me with stress too. Um, yeah, anything where I can kind of like isolate myself and just like be away from everything. Where I can just, yeah, like zone out. <laughs> What's your favorite book? Oh, that's a hard one. I've read so many. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm trying to go through my brain of all the books that I've read. Um, I think one that I really, really enjoyed reading. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> there's so many of them. I know you read a lot. So. Oh my gosh. Um, I think it would have to be Beautiful Creatures. I really don't know if that's my all-time favorite, but I did enjoy reading that book. Like, I bought all of them. My favorite book. I like mangas a lot, but let's go to actual book. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I think his type of books do intrigue me. Um, I have a lot of historical books as well, like books about things that happened in the past. Um, obviously books that deal with my faith as well I have a lot of books like that um, the bible like true but bible is a book that I read a lot so I feel like that would be my number one when it comes to business or like worldly I think it's Robert Kiyosaki's books like he has so many of them there's another one another one book called the ABC of Real estate, haven't finished that at all, but it's a very good book as well. Uh, yeah, some good reads there, guys. Check it out if you're into this type of stuff. You should definitely check it out. Um, did you have a did you have a pet as a child? And if so, what and what was their name? This is gonna be crazy, but uh, um, my first pet, Milo. Milo was a brown dog. I I can't remember the breed of that dog. I was a kid and it ended really tragic for me and Milo because like, I don't want to go too deep into that. But yeah, it was, in Jamaica we call them mongrel dog. I don't know what you call them over here or worldwide. It's a mongrel dog. Mongrel is mongrel, it don't change. Exactly. So. It was a mongrel dog, but he was great, and 
Yeah, I think I went to go see. It was like an MP or like a someone part like in politics. I was in the area, and my school we were having like a meet up to meet that person, um, which was Portia Simpson at the time. Met her, got home, found out. Yeah, bad news. Car, car, my dog. It's not good. I swear you said he wasn't getting into the story. <laughs> you just got yeah, into the story. Yeah, I ain't getting into it. I, can't, I feel like I owed you guys that. I had to tell you that. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much what happened. Yeah, how about you? You had a lot of dogs. I did have a lot of dogs. Um, so, the first two I had, there were two uh, Richbacks. One was called Ebony, one was called Tarzan. I loved them dogs. They were just so awesome dogs. Mm. And then... Um, One got poisoned, unfortunately, which is something that they'd like to do in the Caribbean. I don't know why. And the other one died from a heartworm. Mm. Yeah. I think dangerous. I think I think it was heartworm if I remember correctly. Um. Then I had Mad Max. Mad Max was great. He was such a big dog. He was a he was a mix between a Rottweiler and. and I can't remember the other dog, but he was a lovely dog. But he was just mad, like he was mad, mad, <laughs> like, like mad. <laughs> That's the best way to explain him. And then um, I got Kinky, who was a, like a pure breed German Shepherd, um, and we called her Kinky because she had like a deformity in her tail. So her t- instead of being like the like curved it had like a kink so it went like that and then it kind of curved so yeah we called her my own side is called like kinky and it just it just it fit her so perfectly um yeah so we had kinky and she had puppies and we had um zeda blackie and there was two more i can't remember the other two but those were like the last the last couple that I called they were they were they were with us for a long time. Didn't really get any more after that. Mm-hmm. And um yeah, they were great dogs. They were absolutely great dogs. People never really used to like coming to my yard with them though. They were like, yeah no they're too big. Oh, <laughs> they're yeah, too big. <laughs> well, now now we have two dogs of, of our own. Which is Yeah, two French bulldogs, Rusker and Chelsea. Yeah. They're crazy, but they're lovable. Yeah, 100%. Um, they have their own channel, so they're doing their thing. But yeah. we decided we would just jump on as well, kind of get you guys to know who is behind the scenes. Yeah, it's true. You hear the voices, but you don't see the face. Yeah, so. Or you see the hands, but you don't see the face. If you want to see what dog that is, that dogs that we have, you check out Zimmy TV. Zimmy TV, you will see everything that they do <laughs> um your i'll put it down in the description as well um a question from me mm-hmm. what is what is your favorite type of beach it's a question i've thought about in terms of like you know beach that like, what do you when you go to beach what do you expect to see sun sand and sea the motto for Antigua, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, like some beach have like clear water. Like for me, my pick, I like a beach with clear water. Sand, I'm a bit picky, but sand, I don't like dark sand or rocky beaches. Um, I've never, wow, well, I've never really thought about it. I like. It doesn't really matter if the water is clear or if it's dark. I know with the dark water though you can't you can't you can't see what's underneath you. But I don't really mind, I haven't really been fussed. Um as long as there's no seaweed. I don't like seaweed at all. Um I don't like sea urchins. <laughs> them them <laughs> two, them two. <laughs> you know, like this. Um and as long as it's not too like rocky, you know, sometimes you can go to the beach and you're just kind of stepping on bare rock before you actually get to the sand and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like that. But beach is a beach. As long as I can swim, I'm good. Hey, shout out Jamaican Antigua, by the way. You know what I mean? 
I haven't been to a DJ yet, she's gonna bring me. Um and we ooh. didn't really make that very clear, but Martin here I said your name. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Martin grew up in Jamaica and I grew up in Antigua, so but we were both born in London. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's a bit of background there. Um when you were younger, mm -hmm. what did you want to be? No, that's the easy one. I think when I first, first thing I wanted to be was a footballer. Football was like, yeah, I'm gonna make it. Manchester United, yeah, play with all of my stars. Support that team. It's just, trust me, it's the game, it's the team. Chelsea. United don't play. Chelsea. Um, but. I think after that, getting older, I started to think realistically I want to be an entrepreneur. I think I've always wanted to work for myself, have my own stuff, my own type of business. Um, I think that's always driven me, like I've always been driven to that, that direction. Um, I've done the 95, I am in 95 right now as a manager and yeah, it's not fun being a manager guys. But it's alright, it comes with perks. But I just rather go the entrepreneur route. What about you? I want to be a lot of things. I want to be a lot of things. So <laughs> the first one I wanted to be a um I got optician. Mm. And then I wanted to be a plastic surgeon. Saw how many years it was to study and then I was like No, I'm not gonna do that. Um, and then I settled on being like the sports therapist. I'm pretty sure there was other things in between, but I can't remember them. But the final one I settled on was um, like sports therapist, and then that's why I went to uni and like studied and stuff like that. I feel like you should do that because like, I feel like you have a lot of skills in a lot of different different areas and stuff. Like for me, I'm just a guy that just brings ideas to reality. I'm that's I'm that. She's got all the skills. I did say if I didn't if I didn't pick up on something by a certain age, then I would join the Navy. <laughs> I still stick by that, by the way. Boy. I know, I know you don't like that idea, but still. If I'm be entrepreneur, if I'm not an entrepreneur, look out world, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing yeah. You gotta be entrepreneur, man. What is the worst haircut you've ever had? The worst guy I ever had, oh man, I don't wanna, I can't even, I you know, believe in your bar, but it's not in my barber anymore, but it's still that. It was like, got a line up, just the whole front hair was just lean up, it was a bit nuts. I had to call him, he was like, yeah, 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 it's all calm, man, it's good. So I check it out. So I checked it out. I was like, I said, bro, like the hairline. <laughs> the hairline is gone. I was like, does this, does, how does this look to you? Like, <laughs> and he was like, oh, what do you mean? I was like, yeah, no, 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 this bit, it's not lined up, bro. So you had a wonky hairline. So you had to he fixed it though. Oh. Um, but I that, thought you um, roamed around with a wonky hairline. I was about to say. But imagine leaving and having to walk with that. Oh my days, I would have gotten grilled. Like, everyone would have been like, bro, what happened to you? Like, who did that to you? Serve police with that. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I think for me, I think it was when I first got like bangs or a fringe, but it wasn't cut thick enough. So it was really thin and really spaced out, and it just looked bad like it looked bad it looked like I'd done it myself I remember a time as a kid yeah <laughs> <I was laughs> my mom left the scissors out and I went into the bathroom and I cut a big patch of my hair out like right in the front I just I had no remorse I didn't know what I was doing I was, my mom came in the bathroom and she was like, what have you done? 
<laughs> what have you done? I don't know how you fix that. You can't fix it. There was nothing to fix. Luckily, I can't even say luckily. It was at the front of my head, yeah. But the way that I cut it was if you brushed it back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think you could see it. Oh. Okay. But it was close enough to like the front. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. I was. I've done a lot of a lot of things as a kid. Like my mom told me, don't play in the sink because obviously there was knives and stuff in the sink. And me thinking I was like chefing up and stuff, went in the sink, was playing around with like a half cut lemon, and then I literally like sliced the back of my hand, and I looked at it. And I looked at my mum because I know she told me not to play, mm -hmm. play in the sink. So I just, I literally went like this and covered my hands. And I just walked to the bathroom. And I was in the bathroom washing it off, like washing off the blood. And I didn't clock that my mum had come to the door. Just but she came to the door and was just praying. She was like, I told you not to play with the knife, didn't I? I was like, <laughs> didn't even answer. I just looked at her. And then, yeah, I go like plastered up and stuff. Yeah, I think I have some some similar. I can't remember what I had. Yeah, this mark, this scar here. When I was a kid, they told me not to play with glass. And as kids, we used to play like, you know, like you have a house and this person's the mom, this person's the dad, this person's like the kids. It's weird. Play these games in the Caribbean. But um, I think I was the dad at one point, and I was cutting up vegetables. <laughs> but like we had glass, so it's like. We had glass and we were cutting up leaves as vegetables, as food. Which was, I don't know, when you're kids, it's just like. But um, we cut it up and I don't know what I was doing with the glass, but I was dash. I feel like I was throwing it and catching it. For some reason, I was throwing it and catching it and it fell. That glass stabbed you, boy. That glass said, yep, <laughs> catch that. <laughs> yeah, like, like literally just took a chunk out of my hand. To this day, I still have the scar. Yeah, literally, he, has, he actually has a scar there still. And I've carried that, yeah, since I was a young kid, young lad. I've had so many experiences as a kid. I, I remember how our house, how the, the flat used to be set up, yeah. You used to come, like you have the door downstairs and you come up the stairs. Mm -hmm. But the stairs is like an L, so you come up and then you come up again, yeah. But in between the L was like a landing type thing. And mum used to have like, cactus and all sorts of like little like flowers and plants and stuff like that mm -hmm. right i don't know how <laughs> but somehow i like fell over the banister and like fell onto the cactus <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that's, that's and it wasn't it was like the type of cactus it was was like the furry ones so you know when the little hairs like prick you they were just they were everywhere like <laughs> everywhere that must be very painful I can't lie. it was more so annoying because you think you have them all out and then like you put on something like this and you just feel something like sticky like digging into your skin yeah it wasn't nice there was that um used to tell me not to play with her heels and like I put on one of her heels and I slipped and like the heel cut my foot I've done so many things as a kid I think I think for me I was more like I was just more like a Tarzan kid as a, I just wanted to do the most extreme craziest stuff like we used to have a swing and in front of the swing like just imagine a swing guys and in front of the swing there's two sticks and a rope tied across the two sticks and we used to like swing jump out the swing but try and jump over that rope why? We used to no do that. idea. But not like that though. Like me and my stepbrother, we used to do something similar. So we had a bunk bed. Mm -hmm. And we also had like a futon, like a pull out bed type thing. <clears throat> and we used to climb up to the top bunk and jump off the top bunk onto the futon. <laughs> onto the futon. And it was, it was so fun. I thought we were flying. It was so fun. And the thing is, the bunk bed wasn't even that high. <laughs> but it was fun. Um, if if I feel like if I did the stuff, if I don't know if you feel the same, but like I feel like if we did the same things we did as a kid, now we'll just break into million pieces. Like seriously, like it's so extreme. It was different back then. 
I remember like right in the back, like right in my back. Coming home from school, doing homework, finishing with my clothes, going out, and me and my stepbrother riding the back, getting chased by dogs. It was, it was just, it was just different. It was so fun. It was like so, so, so fun. We sound super old, but we're not that old, by the way. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> it was just fun. It was. But, but guys, obviously we're gonna have to wrap it up for today. I thought we got we gave a lot of information as well on us. But if there's anything else you wanna know, put it out in the comment section. Give us a like and subscribe. Obviously we're new to YouTube, so every little helps. Um Sorry if the energy was a bit off as well. It's like two thirty in the morning as well. <laughs> so yeah, kinda of tired. Yeah. But, but yeah. like I said, I had the energy was there. I had to do it, so I was like, "Yeah, let's jump on, let's give them some information, let's get them, let them know who we are." And yeah, yeah. guys, please like, comment, share, please tell a friend to tell a friend. You know, yeah, we appreciate it all. I'll see you next time. Get me, boom. <laughs>